you sit down and you start the day by reading the news and you see, oh, there's war going on here, war there. We have selfish criminals running the government. You know, all these worries, you know, you, you, you start the day depressed, you know? how to transmute depression. So this year I have been contacted by so many people that say this last year has been the most difficult year of their life, you know? And these are not people that need money or shelter. You know, they're people 60, 50, I mean, even young people, but especially people 50, 60, 70 years old, They've been through everything. Their lives were going well, but this last year has been very difficult for them. And um, so what I realize is, you know, we're feeling what's happening in the world, all the chaos and so, and it's sending love out to that, which will not only help the world, but help us, you know, to do this very meditation. If you sit down and you start the day, by reading the news and you see, oh, there's war going on here, war there. We have selfish criminals running the government. You know, all these worries, you know, you, you start the day depressed, you know? But if you can, I mean, I think it's important to be aware of somewhat what's happening in the world, but you don't have to dwell on it, you know? So instead to send love out to the world leaders to send love to humanity, you know, even sitting alone, I am the Divine Mother sending love to humanity, to all the world leaders, you know. And, you know, I might do that for an hour, and then different affirmations, you know, I am the great divine director of the world situation, I am the resurrection and the life of humanity, I am divine love come forth for all beings on earth right now, filling everyone's heart with love. This does tremendous good. And then, you know, you do that for a while and then you feel uplifted, you know? And that comes back to you. The love you send out comes back. People think, oh, what about me? I'm doing all this work for humanity, but I'm the one that needs the love. But if you really can send the love out, it will come back. I, I knew a woman whose um, her aunt was uh, from the Indian tribes up in the mountains in Mexico, the Tarahumara Indians. And they said, when you leave the house every morning, walk out the front door and bless the four directions. So one day I did this. I walked outside and I bowed to the north. I said, I am the presence of God blessing the spirit of the north. Then I turned to the east, the south, and the west. Then I forgot about it. Well, later in the day, I was driving up the freeway to Wairika. It's like a half-hour drive. And all of a sudden, this energy hit me. And I said, what was that? And, you know, it's almost like a blast of wind hit my car, but from every direction, left, right, from in front and back. They said, that is the blessing that you sent out this morning, it's gone around the earth and now it's come back to you. <gasps> it was amazing. That showed me, you know, that was just a, you know, one minute little prayer I did, maybe not even, maybe 30 seconds. It was that powerful. So why not say, I am divine love. I am the love of God flowing in all directions to the north, the east, the south, and the west, filling humanity with divine love right now and fully self-sustained. So we let that go, and then that will go around the earth doing what it needs to do, and then will come back to us later in the day. That's powerful. Yeah, what if you have 100 people do that? Or what if, you know, 10,000 people, a million people did that? We would have peace and love.
Absolutely. Well, of course, you are trained, you know, when you are saying that you have practicing this now for decades, you have practicing this for your life. It's it's just that when you are saying that, it's even in your voice, you know, it has a very, very deep impact. It has the power. It has really much power. First of all, you have to find this con this faith and this power. It's a matter of practicing it. It's not giving up is really, and this is why your book, for example, this one here, the mm -hmm. I am affirmations, this is the German one. As I said in the beginning, I have all of your books in both languages as printed and as Kindle and as audios. Because yeah, the English, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Because I have really brainwashed myself in many, many years. And, and is, this is, it's just a small little book. But when you really go into this, I am the presence of God. I am the living light. I am the light of the world. I am love. I am the son of God. It's just repeating it over and over again, listening over and over again. And it's so good when people gather, when we share it, either online, physically can also be very powerful or probably more powerful. And so, yeah, it's just. Yeah, a lot of people say, oh, oh I, don't have, I say, yeah, I don't have time to meditate. Well, it takes 20 minutes to read the affirmations in that book. You know, if what if people do that every morning it, it changes your whole thing from being negative to positive you and know? you can also listen it listen to yeah. it in the car you can you can it's read it hear it whatever you know if you really get it that this is uh where your attention goes the energy flows and when you put your attention to the divine i am presence and to the god within this is exactly what gives the energy to 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 this consciousness and this is the divine consciousness that our world needs and this is how people and everybody gets out of depression because depression is just separate consciousness sep a consciousness that's in separation it's in despair isn't it and when you start filling yourself with with gratitude with trust with love with faith and with the i am the positive i am affirmations it will have an effect maybe not in the very moment but with repetition and with applying it, it will come. It will come back, as you just said. It came back, and then it's like a like a deep deep impact. It always right. comes back. Love, love is all that is, and when you send it out, there is nothing but love that can return. But it can, of course, as we know now with our also with our twin ray experiences. It is love, yes, and it also helps us to to purge lower consciousness. So it's we have to understand that that the pain that's connected with that and the purging process is also part of um, shifting the energy. It's it's uh, it's some it's a process that's necessary to overcome old patterns and to overcome duality consciousness you have to overcome everything that's not in love will 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 just be purged and this is why the violet fire is also so helpful isn't it to you always say i am the violet fire um transmuting anything less than perfection exactly you know i did an experiment when Saint Germain asked me to write this book about Violet Tara. Now I put the two books into one. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Violet Tara books one and two. But uh, I started experimenting with it. You know, I said, if I'm going to give these teachings, I have to see how they work, you know, not just take Saint Germain's word for it, you know, so uh -huh. every morning I send like blessings to the world leaders, you know. So I said, I'm going to experiment on Donald Trump, you know, it's not a political statement about Trump. He was the one president at that time. And uh, I send violet fire to all the world leaders, but I started with him. And uh, I said, uh, you know, I, I did the visualization. It's like a tantric visualization. I am the goddess of violet fire sending light. I imagined I was above the White House. And I send a tube of light down around Donald Trump. And I'm sending it through so powerfully that he sees it. Well, 
Two hours later, he had a press conference. This was at the beginning of the COVID epidemic, you know? And the press asked him, they said, what are you doing? What should we do? Or what are you doing about COVID? And he said, you know, I think violet light can cure COVID. But see, the press didn't report everything he said. They want to make it look like he's an idiot, you know? So, but what he said later was, it should be studied by scientists and validated by doctors, you know, then that would test it out. And actually it is true that ultraviolet light kills many viruses and bacteria, you know? So I thought this is amazing. He's not somebody normally talks about violet fire, you know, violet light. Yeah, he must have received the inspiration somehow. That somehow he saw that. I said, I want this to go through so strongly that he sees it. And then he's talked about it. So oh, that was an amazing kind validation. Kind of proof, you know. Wow. So you can send that anywhere. I am the presence of the goddess of violet fire, sending sending the violet fire through all world leaders now, dissolving and consuming anything less than perfection. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Well, well, sometimes thank you. I do. Yeah. If okay. I'm sitting in a or something and nothing's happening, I say, okay, I'm sending violet fire to everybody here, dissolving anything less than perfection that might be bothering these people, you know? The funny thing is, the children feel it, the children and the dogs. Mm -hmm. When I do that, the dogs will come up to me and look me in the eye. They can feel it. And also the young children, you know, up to about five years old, once they get to be about 20, they got their cell phones up and they're busy texting, you know. Mm -hmm. But I know it's going out affecting everybody. Well... You, you, you are doing a very important work, Peter, you know that. And I hope that we, now that we are sharing this on our both channels, that many people see it and that they get inspired to also apply yeah. it more than ever before, or even for the first time, we don't know. Before we come to, uh, to, to our closing today, may I still just quickly ask you uh, some fast yeah. questions because we, sure. we covered so much yeah. beautiful stuff. Um, because I asked you in the very beginning, is twin flame, twin ray, and twin soul, is it all the same? And you were then talking about twin uh, uh, soul, soulmates, which was very important information and very in, in, insightful. I know that. Um, but do you feel that there is differences in twin rays, twin flames, and twin souls? Yeah, absolutely. Like I say, the soulmate, uh, the soul no no i'm not talking about the oh. soulmate i'm talking about the twin ray as far as we yeah. know the twin ray is 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 one soul that's including the masculine and the feminine aspects right mm -hmm. so when we are in the embodiment we are polarized the polarized uh, parts mm. so to say so this is one soul. Soulmates is two souls or other complementary souls. This is different souls. But as far as I understand it, twin rays is twin ray, it's one ray, one soul in two two bodies. It's maybe just the terminology. Uh, I think it's just the words there. Just the words, yes. Whether you say twin ray or twin soul or whatever. Okay. But just to know there's the difference between someone you have karmic connection with and then someone who's a part of yourself actually exactly. that's a difference that's yeah. that's that's a big difference and uh, um okay i guess i guess uh i guess that's for me this is meanwhile it's quite clear yes yeah and you see the, the big problem i hear from so many especially women saying that they're sad because they haven't found their twin ray yet or there's soulmate, whatever, they, they use the term soulmate too, but it's the twin ray. And they say, I know at the place where I work, he's in the office with me and I know he's my twin ray, but he doesn't want anything to do with me. Uh, it's a misconception. Like you have to let go of that yeah. and find the love within you. Even if it's true, 
he may be someone, it's just the soulmate that you have past life connection with or something like that, or you see something beautiful in him, but don't make, you know, the, your life is not going to work because you're not with that guy. You're giving your power away. You, you have to have it within you. I am the, the presence of God, and that contains soulmates, twin rays, whatever. It's the divine love to not say love is dependent on being with a physical person. I, I, I totally know what you say. And I experienced yeah. it, Peter. As I told you, I was really chasing men for 50 years in my life because I was in this misconception. Yeah. I always fell in love with somebody. And I really thought if he was in my life, I would be complete. It was always karmic or maybe it was sometimes a soulmate, but I had to go through that illusion. I had to go through that pain because this was my path, one part of my path of awakening until I came to the point where exactly I found peace within me and this laid the foundation for the real encounter with my own soul with my other self so to say and this boosted the ascension uh, uh, really so to say but the first 50 years i was also always looking for love in all the wrong places as uh, mm. um, abraham hicks say this so nicely you know looking for yeah. love in all the wrong places this is now here's something interesting normal. pearl said pearl said not all not all beings split like some people incarnated on earth with the twin rays united. Yes. They're not looking. That, and I'll tell you, one day, it's when I was traveling in Israel, I, I, I was someplace and is in the lobby of a hotel. The woman who was behind the counter checking me in. She said, yes, what do you want? When she looked at me, I felt this woman is not looking for anything outside herself. She is complete, you know? Uh -huh. And I was like, oh my gosh, Pearl was right. There are people who feel whole within themselves. They feel complete. Mm -hmm. And they don't need to think about, they're not looking for their twin ray or whatever. I mean, sure, they like to be in relationship. That's nice, you know? but they feel whole within themselves. And um, I think we all need to find that, you know? Another thing I will say is that I am aware, uh, sometimes when I'm in my sleep out of the body, I experience that I do inner work with my twin ray, you know, like on another level. But again, there's not that longing to be with her in a human earth relationship. But I, I see that she is doing some work there. Now, I haven't had that experience in a long time. But I am aware that when I send love to her, there is kind of a, something that comes back. Not, you know, lights flashing or anything. But there's just an awareness of that I am in connection with the feminine part of my own soul. You know, and women can feel that too. That doesn't mean not to be in relationship with other people. There's no need for jealousy, anything like that. Jealousy is very destructive. Um, Pearl said jealousy even ca can cause cancer. You know, and again, it's giving your power away, thinking your center is outside of you. you know, it all comes back to feeling God within, you know. Uh, you remember, you of course you remember. You know that uh, Elizabeth Clare Prophet and Mark Prophet they all they founded they also founded this right this uh, movement, and she's also giving beautiful. I mean, she gave. She's already gone since many decades. I think in the nineties or whenever. I, I I was just thinking of that because I read many articles about um, her twin ray twin flame teachings that she shared alone also on many lectures on YouTube. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's a little old fashioned, right? She looks always with her dresses and everything, the way she comes over, comes across. But the, 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 the depth of the teachings, uh, I feel is very profound. And um, 
there is, for example, one twin. She also wrote a book about twin rays and uh, soulmates. There's a, it's a small book. Yeah. Uh, just the same size as yours. <laughs> that's my book. Yeah. That's, that's, my, not her that's book. your book. I don't have Elizabeth right now here, but I was just thinking of her because there is one um, twin flame calling in her books. And this is very beautiful. And uh, I actually, I practice this daily. I practice daily the um, uh, I am affirmations and this um, unfold and um, surrounding with the light and connecting with the divine source within. So beloved presence, I am, um, I, beloved I am presence bright round me seal your tube of light from ascended master flame called forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free. From all discord sent to me, I'm calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I'm one with the violet flame. Nice. This, is, this is one of the, uh, I even say it in English, although I'm German, but because in English, it's just the rhymes, you know, and it's, mm -hmm. it's easier for me to say. And the other um, affirmation, or I don't know, uh, that I'm saying daily is, um, lo, I am the alpha and the omega of the twin flame white fire bodies of my beloved and myself manifest here in action. Lo, I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the ending of the white fire sphere of wholeness. And this is a twin flame calling that was brought through uh, by Elizabeth Claire Prophet. And it mm -hmm. is to connect with the inner flame, with the inner twin flame, no matter whether it's incarnated, no matter, no matter whether you met it, no matter whether it already deceased, no matter where it is in the universe, it is to find the inner connection and to be in this, to return to this oneness yeah. within. So this calling, I can only um, suggest everybody who's searching for, still believes that they are searching for some love somewhere outside of them, that they start shifting it to the inside and mm -hmm. then practice this calling on this this saying, this affirmation, because it really helps to unite in the, within the heart, the, the, uh, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Yes, but even Elizabeth had problems with relationship. I mean, she felt that Mark was her twin ray, you know, but they did not have a good personal intimate relationship, you know, that was not satisfying to her. And she later, after he passed on, she had relationships with a number of other men. And toward the end, she had a very beautiful partner uh, that, you know, supported her in her work. And, you know, um, but she went through, it was not just simple things. She had had to go through many personal relationships herself, you know. See? So. So finding the twin flame or encountering it doesn't mean that you are in, in a blissful state now for forevermore, maybe mm -hmm. in the future, because this is again, of course, we could talk forever because I would love to dive into um, how is it then in other worlds, you know, when it, mm -hmm. let's imagine we are in this ascended state, how are people on, on the Pleiades, how are people on other planets that have reached an ascended state of awareness how are they living their partnerships what how do they experience themselves in in the divinity in the divine feminine and divine masculine qualities mm -hmm. this is must be some something that we are on earth still um have to come to to that awareness or to this uh way of being in this unconditional love uh for everybody well, see, that's the essence of the i am teachings don't think that happiness is here or there or with this person. I am love. I am divine love. Come forth through me now. You know, and every morning when I wake up, I am the pres I am the happiness of God today, coming forth as divine love. You know, that's the essence of the I am teachings. Claim it. Claim what you want right here and now. You know. I am whole. I am holy. I am complete. Yeah. And then feel it, get the feeling. I, I am love and see a, a ball of golden light in your heart. It's a, 
sending rays out to everyone. And everyone I meet today, I will see the love in them, and they will see the love in me, you know? It makes a big difference. Like when, I, when you, yesterday I drove into town and I say, I am going to be divine love today. And everyone I talk to in the store, in the post office, I say, I, you know, I am divine love flowing forth to you. And people would like, look at me like, wow, what's going on? You know, it's kind of a fun thing you can do. Absolutely. So I see the, I see the divine goddess in you. And so. I see the wise master in you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> well, may everyone... You are now sitting in this light, Peter, you know, your white pullover is bright. <laughs> well, may everyone who sees this video feel the love in the center of their own being and may it expand and go out and bless everyone on earth. And I am grateful. That's the thing. I am grateful to be here right now to be able to affect humanity. That's what people need to do. Despite all the weird things happening on the earth, I am grateful to be here now to be someone that can make a difference. Another thing people can say, I am enough. I, I don't need to be something else. I am enough right here now. I am the presence of God right here now, bringing joy, love, happiness, and peace to humanity. Whew. Wow. wow. So thank you for contacting me to make this video, you know? You followed your own I am presence and the masters to contact me, you know? Yes. So thank you for following through on that. I thank you. I cannot thank you enough, Peter. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.